Hey guys, uh, I'm making my chicken for the week along with a spaghetti squash. Um, sometimes I do this with chicken and beef at the same time, but I did beef yesterday while I was cooking my dog's chicken in the crock pot. Yes, he gets his own chicken. He's spoiled. Um, actually it's a special diet he's on because of health reasons, but anyway. Um, so I cooked, uh, beef in the crock pot yesterday along with his chicken on the bottom, so... I already have beef um, to eat for a couple meals this week, and um, now I'm going to do four chicken breasts and spaghetti squash. So uh, here I've got my chicken breasts laid out, my spices, and my spaghetti squash. Um, I've already sort of done a little bit of pre-prep here because I have one hand, and um, this is going to be interesting enough as it is. So. Um, Basically, all I do is, I just realized that I'm still wearing my gym clothes and a hat. Can you even see my face? It's there, I swear. Um, okay, anyway. So, uh, so a little olive oil, just gonna drizzle, let me turn it, drizzle a little bit of olive oil on each breast. And then, um, and then I use just like a base seasoning for my meat for the week of salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. That's sort of a, just a base, like, you know, for anything you eat, right? Like Italian, um, Chinese, Indian, uh, this pretty much anything Mexican, anything you want to make is going to start with those basic seasonings, right? So... Um, so I just sort of pre-season them with that, and then that way they're ready to be turned into whatever I want to make. So um, I just take, I have my pretty little masala daba here. I love this thing. Um, it's got uh, garlic powder, cumin, ginger, chili powder, cayenne pepper, um, curry powder, and garam masala. So with just these few spices, I can make a lot of different dishes. Oh look, there's my trash right there. How disgusting. Um, yeah. So, uh, anyway. I'm gonna sprinkle each chicken breast with just a little bit of garlic powder. I don't measure anything. I just put a little bit on each. And then a little bit of salt. I use kosher salt, so I just take like a pinch and just enough to, you know, not really coat it, but just sprinkle it a little bit. And then, um, and a little bit of onion powder. I just realized that this onion powder may not be open yet. Let's see. I can't even... Mmm. Having difficulty here. Ah. Oh, it is open! Yay! Okay. So, one-handed cooking is very interesting. Uh, there we go. So now, um, what I do is just wrap these up in little foil packets like that. Again, one-handed is interesting, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> but that's um, that's pretty much it. So I just make sure that the seam is at the top, and then that way, when I put it in the crock pot, I can put it in with a little bit of water at the bottom, and the water won't actually get into the foil. It'll provide enough moisture to keep the chicken from drying out. I don't even know if you can hear me over this loud tinfoil, but um, basically what I said was that I put a little water in the bottom of the crock pot, and um, when I put the seams up, it prevents the water from getting into the foil. So seams up. And 
that's it. So these go in the bottom here. Bottom of my crock pot. They don't have to be perfect, just stack them in there. And then uh, just a little bit of water, which I'll get from the sink over here. And I just take like a, you know, just, just a cup of water, just pour it down in there. Just enough to put a little bit in the bottom of the crock pot. I try not to get it in the foil. And then spaghetti squash right on top. Just like that. See that? And then I do a little more olive oil in here. And I put this, um, put the lid on, of course, and I put it in the actual heating element part of the crock pot, um, which is on a different counter. And then I turn it on low, and um, in a few hours, I'll have cooked spaghetti squash and chicken so I can have quick meals. Um, I'll use the spaghetti squash for a pasta substitute. Um, sometimes I will brown them, like hash browns with my eggs in the morning. Um, I'll make a mean macaroni and cheese with the spaghetti squash and a little bit of cream cheese and cheddar cheese. Um, and Alfredo the same way with um, cream cheese and Parmesan cheese. And all of these recipes are on my blog, so you can find them there. But uh, just to give you a little idea of sort of what I do with them. And then the chicken again, like I said, once it's seasoned with that base seasoning of the garlic powder, onion powder, and salt, um, it's pretty versatile. So I can turn it into pretty much whatever I want. Um, if I'm home, I'll check on the spaghetti squash and uh, take it out if it gets done before the chicken. Um, I don't mind if my spaghetti squash is mushy. Some people don't like it that way. So if you like it crunchy, definitely keep an eye on it and take it out um, as soon as it's at the texture that you prefer. That's it. That's my uh, meat for the week preparation method and uh, helps keep me on track so I can make good healthy food choices. All right, see you later. Bye.